Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, this is just going to be a little quick video, kind of a two-part little uh, instruction deal here. Uh, take maybe a little bit of the guesswork out for you guys out there uh, for Align Motors. How to get them apart, how to uh, change the bearings in them. And uh, it's rather simple, guys. It looks a little intimidating. Uh, but it's actually, you can have the motor uh, apart and, and looking like this in a, probably about under a minute. Uh, what you want to do is the first thing you want to do, guys, is you look inside of here and there's your set screw. Okay, that's the first thing you got to take out. When you're taking it out, it's really not a big deal because you're taking the motor apart anyways, but 99% of the time when you're trying to pull that out, it gets sucked onto the magnet. Okay, not a big deal when you're taking it apart, but it can be a, a, a big deal and a pain in the butt when you're putting it back together. So what I like to do before I forget is uh, when you take your, your Allen driver, Okay, what I do is put a little bit of super glue, just a dot, on the end of my uh, Allen driver screwdriver, okay, and put it in, insert it into there, let it cure for a second, and then I'll, I'll uh, put that back through there because now it'll be held on and it won't get sucked off uh, and sucked onto the, the strong magnets. And basically it doesn't, it doesn't hold it like, you know, lock tight it together, you just, you know, the wrench uh, or the Allen driver come right out guys so don't worry about that don't put like drench it just put a dot of super glue on the end of it and, and then insert it into the uh, uh, set screw okay once you got that out guys what you want to do is a couple of ways you can do it you can prop this up so it's on two boards I don't even bother doing that it, it's not that hard to get apart Get yourself uh, a punch like this, guys, and you just insert it where the shaft is. Take a, a plastic hammer or a rubber mallet, and you just a few taps. Okay, that's it. And you'll see the shaft sink down. Okay. Uh, oop, magnet. I'll put it the right way. If we can get this in here, I'll show you. It basically, you're just going to pop that through. Once it gets through the, it's about, I would say, a quarter of a quarter of an inch, guys, and then the shaft comes out. Okay. Now, once you got that out, you can pull uh, the magnets, the casing, out of that. Okay. And now you got everything here basically laid out on the table. Let me just move this in a tad bit. Now your bearings. Okay. This bearing here is bad. Okay, you got two bearings, a bigger one and a smaller one. Okay, uh, the smaller one is going to go in the front where your pinion is, and the bigger one uh, goes into the back of the motor there. Okay, how do you get those out? Uh, well, if you're taking them out, taking them out really uh, doesn't matter I mean you don't want to damage anything but what I do guys and I'll show you here if you have for instance I took these out already but basically they're set in there like that okay set down and what you want to do is take something with a flat edge to it this is a drill okay you want to use the opposite end and you just set that down in there and you hit the edge of the bearing see if you can see here's the it coming through okay what you want to do is angle it guys so if you can see that how it's hitting the edge of the bearing okay and then basically you hold it like that and you just tap it lightly and they fall out okay and vice versa with the other side and then you can change the bearings out now this bearing if you put the bearings on the shaft guys like this and you spin them, if you can hear it, I don't know. This bearing is still good, all right? If I put this bearing on the shaft and spin it, you might be picking that up from the camera, I don't know, but if you can hear the difference. Hear that? The noise it's making, the grinding. You go back to this one, 
smooth. It's a good idea though, if you're going to change these guys, uh, change them out at the same time. Uh, now putting them back together, uh, basically what you can do is get yourself um, a socket from a socket set. One that will fit around the edge of it and is not damaging the inside of it. Put some, uh, you can put a little oil in there because uh, obviously once it's all sealed up the bearings can't fall out. Uh, and basically you can just, you don't want to be smashing on these guys, okay? So you got to be very careful what you're doing. More or less if you can hold this thing up. You can use, uh, you know, something like this and just tap it back in, guys. It, it's not like you're working uh, on a car. you got to remember, guys, these things are delicate, okay? Now that's back in, and then you'd put this here, like I showed you, okay, on the edge of the bearing. Okay, and you're going to give it a few taps. And the bearing comes out. Don't go beating on these things, guys. They're not big cars. It's not a 57 Chevy you're wrenching on. Little taps and gentle movements with these things, and they come right apart. You can see I pushed that all the way back in, and it popped right back out. There's no need to be putting any uh, uh, Loctites in there to hold these bearings, because the bearings can't come out once they're inside the case, guys. All right, They're going to stay seated in there tight. So there's my tips on how to change bearings for an Align motor and how to take an Align motor apart. Uh, now, when you're putting it back together, guys, okay, there is a flat spot up there, okay, that's going to, you want to get that lined up, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put it back together, okay, and set screw got sucked up in there as you can see watch that again you see how it sticks right to those magnets so when you're putting it back in make sure you use that little bit of uh, super glue uh, to hold it on to your allen driver and basically what you want to do guys is you want to line that up the best you, oops, the magnets are strong the best that you can because it has to be lined up with the hole in there. There's a hole in there. Okay, that's that part's a little tricky, but it's just basically a matter of lining it up and then pushing the shaft through uh, so that flat spot uh, you can get that set screw to hold it. Okay, if need be, uh, you could probably make another one if, if you really were uncomfortable about putting it in and you needed to make sure but if I've done it twice guys and if you line it up and take your time uh, and be gentle with it you'll get it lined up just fine and it definitely helps if you're in a well-lit environment or you have somebody with a flashlight because every you got black in there and you can't really see too good uh, but if I can do it you can do it so those are the the tools you know, it's you don't need a lot of stuff to maintenance these, take these motors apart and change the bearings. Uh, so I hope that this takes uh, the mystery out of doing this for you guys, and uh, I hope that if you need to do it, you can do it yourselves and uh, not have to pay somebody. And uh, like I said, it's it's a fairly simple thing to do. The motor will come apart and and you can have it on the table in about less than a minute guys okay and make sure when you put that set screw back in that you put some blue medium loctite on there thanks for watching guys i hope this helps if you'd like to subscribe it's nitro kyosho